All right, first pie guy here. I'm gonna show you how to hook up your uh, pie camera to your pie. And as you can see here, we have a camera hookup and a display hookup. Obviously, we're gonna use the camera. So all you need to do is just pull these little this little tab out that holds it in. Same way with this. Uh, the pin side goes to the back of the camera on this one as you can see we have the pins then just the uh, the back side of the ribbon so we are going to take the uh, the bare pins there and put it towards the black side of the connector here from the top and just easily push down the white part of the connector to help hold in the uh, ribbon cable and that's pretty much it so now we have it and there it is I don't have a case but uh, this will do so stay tuned and uh, we'll show you some commands all right so now that we have our pie camera hooked up uh, let's go ahead and uh, enable it so if we just do the following or you can do it also uh, using the uh, configuration here if I can get it up if we go up here to the menu and go down we can turn it on by this way which I already have it turned on but you can turn it on by that way or we can go in here and uh, find out where it's at and we can turn it on by doing that then we can just click finish then you'll want to do a reboot but I think we'll be okay since I already have mine turned on now what we can do is we can just test this out to see if it's going to if things are working right now I'll throw a link in the description to my website for all these uh, commands of a few different ones and what you can do. But we're just going to test this out. So we'll just do the following here. <clears throat> and if we pull up our vnc connection here we'll just click on that guy and right here is our test so there's the camera and it's working so if we want to do a vertical flip we can add the uh, dash vf which will uh, do a vertical and if we need to do a horizontal flip and you can rename these file names to whatever we can do that so now if we look let me, well I should have changed the file name because it's going to overwrite it but if we look at this guy versus this guy as you can see it's flipped and if we need to do both we can run this guy which will do a vertical flip and a horizontal flip <clears throat> and we should be upright okay so that's that uh, if you want to record a video, we can just do this, replace the steel with vid, and if we look here, we have our video.
it's a little slow through the VNC, but uh, something else we can do is we can add the time onto this. And uh, so if we put 10,000, that's 10,000 milliseconds, which equals 10 seconds. So <clears throat> you can do the math and add it for however long you want to do it for. So if we just do that. And now it's recording a 10 second video which it might just overwrite that guy. And there we have it. All right, so now if you want to take a fair amount of pictures and you want to render it into a uh, uh, <clears throat> time lapse, what we can do is I'm going to delete these and we need to install we'll just come over here and use this guy so we just need to install FFM peg which I believe mine is already on there so now that we have that installed, <clears throat> we can run the following here. Now let me cancel this. Clear. Now this is going to run for uh, 30 seconds. And it's going to take a picture every two seconds. Then it's going to output this into a... Uh, Put it in order so we can change this if we want we could just name this test if we want to we'll let everything else the same so we'll just let this run and as you can see it's doing the pictures <clears throat> every two seconds for uh, 30 seconds so we'll just let that run here as you can see it's not uh, done yet so we should get about 15 pictures all right so we skip in frame 14 to restart at 17 for whatever reason that may be all right, so now what we can do is render this, these images into a time lapse. All right, let me cancel that, clear that. So we can name this whatever you want right here. And uh, we're using a screen size of 1280 by 720. Now you can change this if you feel. So now what we can do is we're going to run into an issue here. So we need to backspace that, but I'll fix that, that on my website. So we don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> well, since I actually changed it from image, I'm going to change it to test because we need to uh, use obviously the images that we took. So we'll just hit enter. And as you can see here, we're uh, making a time lapse. So we'll just let that run. All right. So there we go. So now if we come back, here's our time lapse. So if we double click on it, and click play. Now it might not be the best through V and C here. <clears throat> Looks like it's uh, possibly thinking. I'm just doing this on a Pi 3, so 
might be a little bit slower. All right, so I went ahead and re-ran re -ran my, uh, the previous command here, and it didn't skip my images like it did the first time there. So anyway, after I did that, uh, things worked. And there's our time lapse. Obviously, it's not very long because we only have a handful of pictures. But if we had a couple hundred, uh, it would uh, definitely look a lot better. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for these commands. So hopefully this kind of helps out. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.